What is up guys? Today I want to talk about the ESI or SE Cam, also known as the IP Cam. It's a security camera that's really, really cheap and inexpensive. Um, and I'm actually not using it for security. I'm using it for just kind of looking around my house. I want to look in my backyard, be able to see my dogs running around or have one in my front door to know when the UPS guy drops something off, that kind of thing. It's more for monitoring my house than it is for actual security since I live in a pretty safe neighborhood and I don't actually have any need for a security camera. But this is the actual physical device. It has an adjustable antenna. That is how it connects to your wireless network. Once it connects to your wireless network, you can actually use an app on your phone to view a real-time feed. It'll also give you any alert when there is any sort of motion or activity. And you can set it up also with an SD card to record that information locally. It's a very, very simple device. It literally just has a power over ethernet plug, a power cable, and this button, which as far as I can tell, does literally nothing. Beyond that, you have the actual camera itself. You can see here the, the array of what you would think is lights. Um, those actually never turn on. So at nighttime, this camera will actually switch into a nighttime mode. And I'm not super sure the technology that they're actually using to get it to view, because again, the documentation and paperwork and that kind of stuff for this product is not very great. But um, if you cover up enough light, you can actually hear an audible click on this device. Let me see if I can do it. So you can actually hear an audible click happen when it switches between the night mode and the day mode. When there is not enough light to actually get a clear image, you'll see those red lights come on and that will actually give you the nighttime vision mode. It's kind of cool. Other than that, everything's pretty basic about this device. It has a mount here that you can articulate and adjust and screw on. That's how I have it mounted to my house right now. Um, the wireless antenna is decent. Um, it'll reach uh, a good few hundred feet, at least for my house. It's far enough away that I can have my router where I want it and have this where I want it without any issues. The only thing you actually need to get this thing up and running is power after you do the initial setup and configuration with the mobile app. Um, and then after that, it kind of just works. It's actually quite nice, the fact that you can use the mobile app, but while we're talking about the mobile app, there are a few problems. So when you first go into the app, it's super nice and clear what's happening. It immediately starts playing a visual feed of what you're looking at. However, there are quite a few downsides to this mobile application. It's quite buggy. Every once in a while, it will crash. The firmware update, for instance, says to wait 90 seconds. Um, sometimes that takes five minutes, sometimes that actually does take 90 seconds and it's kind of hit or miss as to whether it'll actually tell you that the firmware got updated. I usually just press the button a few times, close the app and reopen it in about 10 minutes and it usually works. Um, so it's, it's a little weird. Other things like resetting the password, for instance, you just can't do in the mobile app. When you go to the actual password option, it just is totally blank screen. But that's usually okay because again, I'm not, not actually using this for security. I'm not keeping this in my house. I'm not keeping this anywhere where I would actually care that much if anyone did gain access to this. So again, this is something more that I just got for fun to have in the backyard to see what the dogs are doing or to see if the UPS guy had delivered a package or not. It's really cool that the mobile app works across the internet because I can just connect to this anywhere I want. I can be on my phone, I can be in the middle of town and I can just log in instantly and see exactly what's happening. And for the price, this is actually a really sweet deal. As to the physical body, it seems rugged enough. I'm not sure how well this will handle itself outdoors. I am gonna hang it outside under an awning. So it'll be at least protected from the elements in that respect. It is a nice solid metal body, which is nice and unexpected for the product. It has a decent mounting plate system. We just plug in any screw that you want into one of those three holes and it'll basically hold itself because it's quite light. Um, like I said, the wireless antenna actually works really well and I love the fact that all you have to do is give it power and whether that's through this power cable right here or if you use the power over ethernet, if you have something like that set up, that would be really awesome for an industrial setting. You wouldn't have to actually even have a plug-in nearby, you could just run an ethernet cable. To it, which is pretty cool. So all in all, I'm actually pretty impressed by this. Um, it's super cheap. It has a lot more features than I thought. Some of them are buggy, like the mobile app and the switching from night mode to day mode sometimes takes a lot of lost light. Like it has to be pretty much black outside, so there's a little bit of overlap in between there. 
But overall, it's actually a pretty sweet product. I like that it has the night mode. I like that it has the motion sensing um, alerts. It'll actually ping you on your mobile phone and say, hey, something moved. I, I captured this on my motion detect. Here it is. And you can change those settings and turn that stuff off in the application, which is nice if you're not super interested. All in all, it's actually a pretty cool product, especially for how cheap it is. I'm not going to say that if you're actually a security buff, you should get a bunch of these because I don't know how secure the mobile application is. And I wouldn't actually be surprised if someone knew the unique identifier and the default password if they couldn't get into this, especially because I can't change the password. But if you're not actually looking for security and you just want something on your front door to maybe record locally to make sure no one steals your packages, or even just to deter people from stealing your packages, or if you want it for something like me, just to watch wildlife or your dogs in the backyard, it's actually pretty cool and yeah. So if you guys like the video, please let me know. I'm actually going to be posting a lot more to this channel and I'm going to be branching out into different subjects. Um, not too far off of what the default channel is with the tech reviews and that kind of thing. But I also want to have tech talks. Um, I'm also a programmer by day, so I would like to have some talks about programming and the technologies that I use and what's new in programming, as well as just general technology overviews. When new tech comes out, not necessarily actual hardware, but software and just... Um, software, cryptocurrency, just, just kind of fun tech stuff that happens that's not necessarily an actual product review. I want to start making a lot more of those videos and posting a lot more to this channel. So hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Later guys.